Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Street Fighter Cross Mega Man. Um, this is right after... Oh god, I can't move. Oh. <laughs> um, right after my previous recordings, um, I had to redo everything because of the way this game has no password system and no um, saves. So this was a completely new run, so... While I have about as many, I believe as many, um, energy tanks, um, I'm on my last life. So, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, this is the first bison stage, instead of Wily stages. Uh, it's against Balrog. You can shoot him, um, but I'll be honest with you, there's no reason to. He will just continue doing Raging Bull the entire time. That's all he'll do. Raging Bull over and over and over again. And you beat him by holding right. Not joking. Okay, just hold right. Eventually, Balrog will kill himself. Right here. You want to keep holding right though, because there's an energy tank over here that you'll stop moving before then. So yeah, I have no lives. But luckily this game does something that most other Mega Man games don't do. At least I don't believe they do. When you die, you keep your energy tanks. So when I get a game over, I'll have all the energy tanks I need. So here's the second stage of... Ow. Here's the second stage of the Bison stages. Anyone who knows anything about Street Fighter knows who can probably assume who the next boss is going to be. I learned it's actually e easier to just, as I'm jinx myself, it's easier to dodge those than it is to, to fight through it. Ugh. What? I'm probably going to get my game over on this level. How'd that hit me? Climb, Mega Man. These stupid things with their ages reflected. Grab, grab, grab. I'm going to die before I even reach the boss. Really? I'm gonna die. I'm not even gonna make it to the boss here. I'm not even gonna make it out of this little fucking area. Great start, right? Yeah, see, so two lives and five energy tanks. I'm gonna take this a bit slower now, just because I don't want to die again. I'm not going on. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate, so I'm not saying anything. Ugh. Satellite. I'm sure there's an easier way to kill these things, but this is the best way I can think of because they can't actually reflect the uh, the orb, so they die rather quickly. Put on optic laser. Ah, oh, come on. Made it. I hate climbing sections. Oh, must get that life. What are the odds of that? I've never seen two lives drop at once. Let's 
see how many we can kill here. Get some... We get one little bit of health. How kind of them. More swords, yay, more swords. Oh god. Lots of swords and birdies and Okay. We gotta be close to the end soon, right? Extra life. So now we have four lives. Alright, that should be enough to get us through the boss rush in, in the next stage. Well, the next boss is Vega, and he's weak against lightning legs, and I will be using an energy tank if he gets low enough, because this fight is just annoying. How did that not hit him? How- that- oh, that wasn't fair. He should not have been able to hit- like, he jumped where- he, it's like the game knew where I was going there. Alright, let's try this again. Come on! If I die to him now, I'm gonna be so angry. Whew! Alright, well, that's the end of this stage. So, next is the boss rush, so I'll see you guys next time. Later.